and a nice night for it. Not yeah. too bad. Not too bad. No, it could be cooler though. Yep. You, know, you want your light jacket, but that's all. You don't need hey. the hat and gloves and all these things outside right now. And it's a beautiful night. Take a look. We're live out here looking at the gorgeous skyline of Philadelphia, showing you temperatures. Eh, for the most part, in the 40s, a handful of 50s in there. We got 51 degrees currently for Philly. Skies are clear. Westchester, you guys at 50 degrees. Notice a little bit cooler though up around the Lehigh Valley. 41 the temperature for Allentown. So your evening forecast. We're going to call temperatures into the 40s essentially over the next few hours, rapidly dropping by 10 o'clock tonight. We'll say 42 degrees. Outlying spots. I mean, obviously some of you are already cooler than that. Uh, we're going to be in the 30s pretty quickly. Eventually heading on down to the freezing territory for Philadelphia. Outlying areas into the 20s. We'll say Lehigh Valley right around, say, 30, 31. Now, down the shore, right along the immediate coastline, you may get that like 33 to 34, primarily because the water is still relatively warm. It's not like the ocean sitting there at 30, 33 degrees. So it will hold your temp up just a little bit. And then tomorrow, we're going to have sunshine in the morning, a few out of clouds in the afternoon. Temperature is very similar to where we were today, and that's some mid 50s around the region. Not too far. The normal is uh, 56 this time of year. And every day, by the way, this time of year, when we're, we're transitioning in the seasons, our temperature normal will drop about every three days. So, you know, 55, 54 keeps going down until we get to the coldest time of the year. So here's the big picture. Dry throughout our region. You got some clouds that are streaming up from the south of a weather system that will be impacting us here as we get into the weekend. And this is weather system number one that we're going to be tracking. And this low right now is just kind of hanging out over the Gulf, driving up all that energy and all that rainfall in through parts of the Gulf Coast states. It's going to head our direction up the Atlantic seaboard, and the track of that low could make a big difference. If it tracks a little farther to the west, well, that's going to bring us the potential for a little more rain. Farther to the east, just the opposite. Then we have this system up through parts of Canada. It's a cold front, and it's going to move our direction as well. Both of these come together for our next weather maker. We're tracking rain and wind Friday night and Saturday morning. Look at the wind gusts throughout the day on Friday. They could reach about 30, 40 miles per hour. Until we get into Friday night, Saturday morning, and they lull a little bit. But then by Saturday afternoon, they're going to pick back up again, gusting 25, 30 miles per hour throughout the day. And I show you that because everybody's going to be dealing with the wind, um, not necessarily uh, the rainfall, which does not look to be a tremendous amount right now. And that's late Friday. Your Friday's looking dry. Late Friday and into the first part of Saturday. But again, we're going to watch these two systems and how they interact with one another. So we'll alter that if need be as we get closer. But we do have some 60s out there by the time we get to Thursday and Friday. Over to you. Thanks, sir.